but then this is the big one. A heartbeat. Look at these. A Kobe. These two collections, it's, it's probably in pre owned condition worth about 400 bucks. Can I, all good to go in? Yeah. Thanks for having us over. Yeah, thank you. So, when, do you know when, when do you have to be out? <laughs> First of September. Yeah, okay. Well, that sucks, hey? It's such a nice spot. So, it's pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff in here, but I'm pretty excited to dive in and see what we can find. There's four, actually three sections to this place. We've got this entire room in here, the garage. Then we've also got a section outside where there's a heap of tubs uh, lined up along the house wall, which I'll get to. Uh, and then there's a heap of stuff in the living room as well. So, um, Laura's pretty much said I've got free reign in here to have a good look around. Uh, and pick out what I would like to sell on eBay. So this is really a dream scenario. I'm, I'm really excited to be in here. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start in the garage. I'm gonna start in this room right here and see what we can uncover. So let's start opening up some of these boxes. And if you see anything that I've missed, which is no doubt gonna be a lot of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Um, do you have much in the way of sports gear? Like, Not, oh, yeah, I've got a crate of jerseys. I think that's here, hey? Is that here? Yeah, that might be it. Yeah. That looks like it there. There's also another one here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for jerseys. Yeah, I do have a lot. Oh, epic. Excuse me, madam. I brought the proper spaniels as well. Did ya? Yeah, I did. Oh, they're awesome. They do what they want. They're the best. Best breed. Excuse me. Bossy? Listen to kid one. Look at the roots. We had a golden one called the lady. Lady? Yeah. I think we know why. Hey mate. Yeah. 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 Wow, some cool jerseys. Uh, jerseys, I tell you, jerseys are like a passion for mine. Um, I just love find. I love selling what I really like. Yeah. And uh, yeah, coming coming out of the footy, it's jerseys have been a big one for me. Yeah. Uh, but I don't really come across too many of them. Yeah. At least, really kind of good, genuine ones, anyway. Yeah. Tell you what, you've got a really good collection. A really good collection. Yeah. Fantastic collection. You know, you know what to look for. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is it is it from watching? That's what I feel I could do well. Oh, you could. I had someone like a partner helping me, even just for a week. Yeah. Someone helping me do the the listing and that. Yep. And you want to see how many freaking handbags I've got? Are oh, your handbags as well? I don't, see, I don't know handbags. No. I don't, like, if I was to see a really expensive one, I wouldn't know it's expensive. Yeah. I'm just in fear that um, it's a fake. Yeah. There's a really big market down in the Richie Yeah. And they sell everything. Yeah. But I had what's called a what I called a, a five dollar stall. Oh, okay. And I mainly sold men's stuff, men's clothes. My biggest seller were men's shorts. Yeah, right. But it was a five dollar stall. Everything was five dollars, so I didn't have to haggle over prices. Well, that's easy. And ninety eight percent of the stalls there, the clothes stalls, were women's clothes. Yeah. And at the markets, you got the fellas going around with their girlfriends or the old men going around yeah nothing for them to buy so i would have men's shorts men's shoes men's shirts and tools so you'd have it all catered for hey because i tools i pick up at um garage sales yeah doesn't matter how many tools a man's got he always wants another tool <laughs> no, exactly. you're always going to be able to sell them would not, i could not pick up the tools 
Yeah. So I used to make a killing. You know, I'd be making six or seven hundred dollars. And do you need to know your tools, or do they need no. to just simply know? They know what they're looking at. Yeah. Yep. Because I'm uh, unfortunately not a not a tradie of any no. kind myself, so I wouldn't yeah. have a clue. So you got some good um, like consoles, video games. Have I? PS One. Have I? I do or I don't. Oh, I was just curious if you what you had in the way of all of that. No idea. Well, we'll soon find out. I always love finding like, you know, like Game Boys, like old school vintage video yeah. games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good to look at. Yeah. Do you go to many estate sales or is it more op shops? Uh, I do mainly garage sales. Garage sales, yeah, nice. And that's where you'll find a lot of them as well. Yep. And then you can do sell them as a, a, a lot, like four shirts, four shorts. Yep. You know, a hundred bucks, and they just fly, go like crazy. Because again, men hate shopping. And you do lots on Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So easy. Now that's brilliant. Well, it sounds like you're pretty successful on Marketplace then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. On eBay, you've just got a bigger reach, I find. Yes, and people would not pay for DVDs what you're paying. Oh, no. Oh, absolutely not. No. That's cool. San Jose Sharks. CCM, that's Nitro. sweet. That's really cool. Nitro. Yes, I'm, I'm very much wanting to hold on to that no death pile mentality. Hollow Assassin? Yeah. Yeah. Exclamation. All right, so that seems to be a box of seasons. Oh, you found more? Yeah. Hell. They seem to all be like, that's the Fast and Furious. For the group. Yeah, yeah. Community, entourage, call the midwife, Chicago modern Fire. Family. I've got more modern family inside. Yeah, and then you got more here too. Some of them I've heard of, some of them I haven't. You're always finding new ones. Yeah. Falling skies I've never heard of. No. Peel, key and peel. Killing Eve, that's good. And these look like movies. Looks like a lot of, might be some kids, kids DVDs. How'd you go? Yeah, just have a look. A few shoes, nice. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah. Um, have you gone through this box? Is that... Gone through some of the hats there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I started, I found two boxes of DVDs um, just mm -hmm. in that little mm -hmm. corner. Is this your basket? No. No. Really um, this one seems to all be TV shows. Okay. Which is good. Um, I don't do many of the TV shows. No? No. Geez, you should. Um, I, I just, I'm still learning on what's good, what's not. So you're pretty much with TV yeah. shows. I mean, you can say, for instance, these four, you've got seasons one to four. I think yeah. Workaholics has five or six seasons. Mm -hmm. But you could go with a bundle of four, and then if you found the other two later on, then you could go back to your listing and just add the actual yeah, ones you yeah. find. Yeah. But that would still sell as is. Yeah. Um, people still collect part seasons. 
Okay. So whenever I look for DVDs, I just look for like multiple discs mm -hmm. or the word season. Mm -hmm. um, so like Chicago Fire, if I was in an op shop, yeah. season six and six disc, if that was like a dollar or two dollars, generally you're going to do well. Yeah. Um, so that's, I would just simply grab that. But then in this little collection, you've got mm -hmm. these two, like yeah. season four, five and six, like that would even be a bundle, those mm -hmm. three. Um, I just tend to find doing bundles of TV shows yeah. versus individual movies yeah. to be a lot better. Yeah. I have tried. I do have some listed, but they just haven't really... Um, haven't sold? Haven't sold, yeah. I think that comes down to um, a lot of what your store's made up of. Yeah. So if you're majority clothing... Clothes and shoes is what... And then you've got the odd DVD in there, yeah, yeah. they probably don't sell as quickly. Yeah. Yeah. There'd be no doubt some really good Blu-ray sets that I'm just passing on. There's, there's, yeah, that's a, that's a PS1. Oh, is it? Yep. Have a look at that. And there's a Xbox 360 somewhere as well. Yep. There's a console. I do well console. Yeah. Building up. Little tub's building up. I might need another tub. So you can sell it all, even for parts, you can still get some good money. Yeah. Um, and then that console down there as well, there's a yeah, sensor yeah. bar. Oh, a couple of um, games you can put as a bundle. I have, I have got quite a few Xbox games now, I've been collecting them. Have you really? Yeah, thanks to you again. Oh, <laughs> they do go well. Yeah, they do. I've, got, I've, got, I've really blown up how much I'm selling in the way of video games recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're doing so well. You're, I, I brag about you to everyone. Oh, so. you, should, you don't need to do that. Oh, no, I'm just saying, look at this awesome guy. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate you tuning in. You're my in. friends on the Gold Coast as well, so... Yeah. I'm like, gonna watch this guy. Fantastic. Nah, it's, um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. It gets, it gets really addictive. Yeah, it does. Now that you've bought your home too. Yeah, the, the, oh, I'll tell you what, having that's handy. Oh, it would be, yeah. And I haven't... I thought that I might have um, really kind of blown up just the stuff that I had and, mm -hmm. and it'd be too much. But then when I put it all in, I realised I've still got plenty of space. Yeah. That was the biggest yeah. bonus. I mean, it looks, uh, mm -hmm. I'd see, let's let's pull it all out and see if yeah. there's any cables in there too. Yeah. That's a cool, yeah. that's a cool Nintendo bag. You left your phone in the car? Yeah. Oh, you should get it. Yeah. That'd be handy. Yes. Sensor bar. Yeah, I'm not going to get that far enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get that far enough. Nah, smart move. That was my childhood going up. All of these cool Dragon Ball Z cards. I haven't seen these in like, I don't know, 15 years. Um, and there's a whole heap of them here too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these and just sift through them when I get back home. But there's a couple of shiny ones in here too. See that? So I think some of them could be, could be good. Let me know in the comments if you've, um, well, that's cool too. Look at these Dragon Ball Z cards. Look at that. That's sweet. <laughs> I tell you what, the DVDs. That's pretty, pretty cool. These jerseys? Yeah. Hey, you don't have to part with them if you don't want to. Oh, no. No, I just couldn't get the money I wanted on, on Facebook. On Facey, yeah. yeah. You put them on eBay, you go okay, though. Yeah.
These are really cool, these ones. Like these, are so bum. King G, lovely King G's. Really lovely. Right. Well, hang on, let me get all those. Did you find the um did you find the action men? Oh I did, I love those. Oh, Skylanders. Skylanders. Yeah, now I I don't know a ton about them. Oh, have you? Because it's a video game too, right? Yeah. And yeah. you put them on the um the plate. You do, the sky the board. Yeah, I know I know there's certain ones you're meant to look for. And I bet there's people in the comments right now watching this video going, grab that, pass on that. No. Voice, it? It's pre-record. <laughs> I reckon your voice is going to be in it. You you actually won't be in it. Like you visibly won't be in it. No. Look at this. Oh, so here it is. Here it is. That's what you're talking about. Oh boy. I'm, I'm, to be honest, out of anxiety, I'm going to have to leave that whole tub just because I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I mean, you could always come back. Look at these. Mm. They're pretty sweet. A Kobe's. Oh man. That is epic. Woo -hoo -hoo. So then this is the big one. A heartbeat. Yeah. Rare, rare, rare. If you found the complete set of that, it'd be worth a heap. But this is like the 13th season, so I'd get that as well. We have got. Check this out. I remember having one of these as a kid. Sony Handicam. So this is the. Hopefully, so it's got the manual in there as well. It doesn't have any power cords or a battery though, so it'd be cool to have one of them. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so that's the, that's the video camera adapter as well. So it's just missing a battery pack. So that'd be something to negotiate a price on, I reckon. You can take that. Oh, no, I don't do it. Are you sure? Yeah, take that box. But I'd have to ask first. Ask, yeah, we've got to work on prices and everything, but I reckon, okay, we're, yeah. I reckon we're done in this room. We've had a bit of a scan. How long? You reckon we've been here maybe an hour? Hour and a half? Yeah, about an hour. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, and we've found some stuff. So Deb's got this little collection of stuff here. She's done pretty well. Oh, outrageous fortune falling down. And I've got my little collection as well, uh, which is all of that there so there's multiple rooms to this place though where there's stuff that we can actually look at we've only been in this garage um so you know an hour and a half in deb's got to go soon so we're going to go out and check out the video games uh because deb does a bit of selling in the video game category as well so hopefully we can find some good good finds in there um but geez we've got a lot of stuff this has been a pretty good pick so far let's get into the um we'll go into the maybe the living room is that where the games were not sure all right but yeah, garage, complete. Now, um, Laura, we were looking for uh, video games. If there was a little box of them somewhere. You got two here. Oh yes. 
Oh, that Digimon thing is over on that um, wooden coffee table. Yeah, I'm guessing. Digimon. Oh, yeah. Stuff, yeah. FX. Yeah, that's oh yeah. yeah, that's like a little. That's cool. Got the little things for Digi the FX. Cool man, found that stuff. Shoes, like oh, like tune it. squad. <sighs> They're a small size. Right here. And some Vans. Yep. Some, some Harley nice. Davidson here too. Timberlands. Those, yeah, I reckon that's pretty scrap. interesting, that. <laughs> these right here, yeah, these games. Yep. They are. Nintendo 3DS. You'd imagine that'd be alright. Yeah, yeah. No, they're not. I know they're worth money. I'm going to sell them myself. Aye. <laughs> Unless you give me a decent price for them. One piece? Are they complete? Yes. They two, are. Two sets of different shows. Oh, really? Um, I, had a, I had a red, a red set of... Boom, you name it, we got it, man. We got it. Got it. But anyway, all right, scavengers, well, that is going to do it on this episode of Dumpster Diving. So, as a DVD seller, I'm very interested in two really big collections here. So this One Piece series, it's collection one and two. So it's ultimately collections one to 16, which is volumes one and two. And the whole thing sells in pre-owned condition for about 250 bucks. So that collection there is a really good one and I'm interested in it. Obviously Laura knows about the expense of it. So I'm gonna to have to pay up if I was to get it, but I'd be curious to see what she's happy to sell it for. Um, the other one as well is Fairy Tale. Again, another anime DVD, so or Blu-ray actually, this one here. Now, this one is, it's actually 14. So it's 14 um, in a complete set and it's worth about $160. So these two collections, it's it's probably in pre-owned condition worth about 400 bucks. So I'll be interested to see what she wants to sell it for. But um, I'm gonna keep digging around and have a bit more of a think about it. All right, so I've just come outside and we've got all of these bags to look through as well. Um, some DVDs. All right, so Beauty and the Beast. Haven't seen that one before. Misfits. Party of Five. I reckon that'd be good. That'd definitely be good. First and second season. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. Horror DVDs. I could be here forever. American Horror Story, The Hitcher. Super Mario World hiding in there. Volume three. Um, oh man. There'd probably be some really good ones in here, but I'd have to spend some time. Let me know in the comments, what is the best DVD that you know of without doing any comp research? that I've missed because I'm not going to take any of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, Halloween. I reckon that could be good. Oh, that looks like it's going to... Oh, that'd be really good, I reckon. I reckon the comps would be great on that. I mean, it's even that. Oh, my goodness. I oh, know that's good. Halloween 4... Should I just buy the entire box? Maybe I'll just buy the box. Atonement, no. What can I pull out? A zombie Land, the Hitcher, Electra. Halloween again. I'm gonna buy the box. How's that? I went from buying nothing to buying everything. More shoes here. Oh, now they're good. They are a bit worn though, so I might leave those. But oh, hello. Oh yes. Got some Vapor Max. Jeez, I hope she didn't pay seventy bucks. Let's see what she wants for those. They're an awesome pair of shoes. So I've looked through all of this, and we got the big box of DVDs and these shoes, the Vapor Max.
All right, so the DVDs. I haven't gone through all of them. I've gone through a couple of these DVDs, and Laura said that I can take them for uh, basically, ultimately, $2 a piece. So $120 for 60 DVDs. There'll be some good ones. There'll be some that I don't make any money on. Uh, but overall, I think there'll be enough profit there at $2 a piece. So 120 bucks for those. All right, so next up was all of the jerseys. And all up, we had 14 jerseys that were selected. Um, Laura definitely made a really good point that the two American um, and the, I think the two Canadian, so the ice hockey and the NFL jerseys would be worth a little bit more money, which I would agree on. I'll list them up for more. Um, the other ones, there was 10 sort of basketball, soccer, um, a bit of a mix of other sports. So I ended up getting the 10 for $7 a piece and then the uh, American and the Canadian jerseys I got for $10 a piece. So 14 jerseys for about $140. Um, we're looking at, no, $110. 100, 100, Laura's like, yeah, 110. Um, so 110 for 14 jerseys, it works out to a little less than 10 bucks each, which I think is pretty good. There should be some profit in that as well. Laura is incredibly kind and she's given me the Dragon Ball Z cards for free. Are you sure? She's too nice. She's too nice. Thank you very much. These Dragon Ball Zs, I would have said it earlier in the video, they're really childhood for me. So whether or not I actually go on to sell them, I'll work out what's in there. Um, and I, I may I may sell them. I may not sell them. We'll see. All right. Next up, we have the hats. I've ended up going for four hats. We've got the Melbourne Demons. Uh, I've got the, we've got the VB Racing hat, which I thought was pretty cool. Laura had a lot of hats, but I ended up going with the four. I think that's probably my favorite. That's San Jose Sharks hat. And then we have the Mad Huey's hat. Now, Laura's gone with $3 a piece. So $369, $12 is added for the hats. Boots out there. Yeah, I passed on those. Yeah. Just a little bit worn. We are working on the basketball shoes now. We've got four pairs of shoes here. We're working on them. And Laura and I are going to and fro here on, on the price point. Um, I've said 50. Laura said, how much? 75. Would you do 70? She says yes to 70. We're going to do these for 70 bucks. I think that's, I think that's pretty fair because I am buying a lot. Um, and I reckon I can sell them for probably about mid 100s, I reckon. So there'll be a few dollars in there for me and Laura gets 75 out of them. The Tune Squad Nikes, we're going to go with $15 for these ones here. And it's a size 4 youth, but really cool shoe. Uh, Space Jam edition. They should do pretty well. So paying up a little bit for the Vapor Max, we're going to go with twenty dollars for these. But I do like to find these shoes um, when I'm out in the thrift. So to be able to find them here was cool. Happy to pay the twenty; they're in good condition. And then the Quest Star Boost, not sure how I'll go with these ones, but we're going to go ten dollars on those ones there. So uh, a typical price that I would pay if I'm in an op shop uh, would be about ten dollars. Uh, these days, maybe even fifteen dollars the way these op shops are. But um, we'll do ten bucks on those. So the shoes, twenty. 15, 35, 45, and then we did go 75 because I, I did say it on camera, didn't I? So 75 on those. All right, next up, we went straight for the big guy. We went straight to these two box sets and you guys know how much I do my DVDs. I love my DVDs. Laura knew that these were good and uh, she got them for a pretty good price and we've worked out a little bit of a deal here for pretty much the benefit of the both of us. We're gonna do $100. So 100 bucks, Laura's definitely gonna make a lot of money on that. If they do sell for the full asking price, they'll sell for $400. When you take out the fees and the postage, that's $80. So that means that these would pocket me $320 and then I take off the $100 that I'm giving Laura. So that'd be $220 if I can sell them for the full asking price. There might be some best offers in there that bring it down a little bit less, but this could be potentially a $200 profit for me. Uh, and Laura's pocketing hundred bucks in this bulk deal that we're doing. So Laura, as long as you're comfortable with that, thumbs are up, let's do it. Now these Digimon uh, cards were interesting. It's not a complete set. DigiFX, I remember the Digimons as I was growing up, but I don't know exactly how much these are worth. Laura reckons that incompletes on eBay go for about $40 to $50. So I'm gonna work out a price for her now. $10 was the result on that one there. I'm gonna have to do a bit of digging with that. I'm gonna look all them out individually and search them up individually, see if there's any rare ones in there, but I have absolutely no clue. Um, we'll just see how we go with the $10 buy. I just thought it was pretty cool. So next up, we've got all of these action men. We've got seven action men characters, and then we've got two vehicles as well, which I'm gonna look into. And then I know that all of these individual pieces are actually worth a little bit of money because people will try to, um, they, they might buy this action figure and then they're missing like the sword that goes with it. Not that this guy needs a sword, but it might be to complete his set. So you can actually sell these individually and they can be worth a little bit. So seeing all of these guns and everything, 
that's kind of cool. And there's some loose shoes here. I don't know whose shoes they are, and there's a helmet here too. So I actually kind of like the fact that there's a lot of different accessories as well as the action figures themselves. Some of them even have their, their extras there as well. I don't know whether that's attached or not, but they're very cool. I don't know the price points of them, but I want them. Let's see what Laura says. Okay, we've gone through the price point and we're gonna go with $35 for this bundle. So it would be cool to see exactly how much these are worth individually because I probably will sell them individually. Um, that's probably gonna be the way to get the most amount of money out of them. Um, those um, action figure vehicles as well are probably gonna go for some good money too. So look, I don't do a heap of toys. You guys, if you watch the channel, you'll know that I don't really typically pick this stuff up, but Action Man, it's the first time I've ever seen him and I reckon he's pretty cool. Next up, we've got two controllers. I've got a, a Nintendo Wii Mario controller and just a standard PlayStation controller. I like to pick these up whenever I see them because I often buy the consoles. Um, so it'd just be cool to put a wireless controller with a console next time I find one. Uh, we, uh, do, I, do, I, do I say how much we got them for? These were $5 each. So five bucks each. I'm probably gonna be able to sell them for about 20. Two video games. We've got Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. This is a cool one. It's not complete, doesn't have a manual, but I still think we'll be able to sell it for maybe $35, $40, something like that off what we saw on the comps. And then this one here, Uncharted, I'm gonna get about 15 for that. So I'm buying it for $5. It won't make me a lot of money, but it's just cool to have another game. So we're just now looking at price points on Dragon Ball Z. We've got Series 5 Collection 1. So episodes one to nine out of this mix. Um, it's not the entirety of Series 5. We think that there might be around the house some more of um, Series Collection 2 of Series 5, um, which would be awesome if we found it, but I don't think I'll get it today. Um, so we're going to leave these two behind, but we're going to work out a price uh, for this Dragon Ball Z collection, which would be a good one to sell in its entirety. It's so 119. Series 5, five collection, collection 1. one. Okay. How much? Oh, <laughs> I hate this. We're almost there. Oh. We've done well. You didn't look at all of these. No, I didn't. And all of these. I know, I feel like I've been here. I feel like I've taken up your entire day. That's all right. That's the whole point. I know. It has been a pretty good day. Yeah. We've found some cool stuff. No, those DVDs with the water damage, I just can't. I can't do it. No, these are. I brought them in before they got that. Yeah. You don't believe me. I do, I do, I do believe you. No, you don't. I think I'm going to have to come back and jump into the van yeah. on another day. Do a second day. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you want me to come back for a second day to Laura's house. Laura says I can. Let me know if I should. Because <laughs> I'm sure there's more stuff in here. We've got to find the rest of the Dragon Ball Zs. We've got to find the rest of the Dragon Ball Zs. Um, so this will sell for maybe $100, we're thinking. So 20 40 you're saying. How about we settle at 30 oh, okay. Uh, okay, I did say yeah. We'll do 30 We're going to do 30 for Dragon Ball Z. All right, so there it is there, 40 and 15. So $55 for all of those DVDs. And then we've got this entire collection here as well. Laura, what's the grand total? I don't know. How I'll much? Read it to you, How? you add it up. I'll add it all up. Okay, I'll read it to you. And you barely scraped the surface. I barely scraped the surface, but we've been able to come to an agreement, which we are both content with. Uh, it's, a bit, it's my biggest buy ever on this channel. Two years, two years, really? Laura. I've been making videos for two years. I've never had a, I've, I need to do more private buys. Oh, absolutely. Because they are so much fun. Laura watches, we're, we're watching um, Mel back from Burnout right now uh, on the TV and Laura watches <laughs> all of the different YouTubers. I'm, I'm getting off point here. We've come to an agreement, <laughs> $620 for everything that I'm gonna take home with me today. And I think that's awesome for Laura. I think that's great, 620 bucks. Absolutely. Laura's happy. I'm happy. I think there's gonna be some money to be made in this mix. There's gonna be some really good profits. I'm um, looking forward to listing it all up and a lot of days worth of listings for me as well. I, I do 10 a day. I don't know how many listings we've got here, but there's a few days worth. So it's going to keep me going for a little He's bit. Gonna have a death pile. I'm not going to have a death pile. Gonna have a death pile. <laughs> I'm not going to have a death pile. I don't have death piles. It will be listed by Monday, today being Friday. How about that? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go to work. You need a life. No, I do need a life. I, actually, you're right. You are so true. <laughs> Maybe I should have the weekend off and start it on, on Monday. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll do that. You need to go to the footy. I need to go to the footy. Jeez, Laura. Laura speaks a lot of sense. Um, thank you, Laura. I appreciate you letting me come across. It's been a three-hour drive to get here. It's been pouring rain outside. I don't know if you guys can see all that out there. It's been awful. But um, I think it was well worth it here today. 620 bucks. Thank you very much, Laura. I'm going to get back home and start listing on Monday. On Monday. Yes. yes. <laughs>